lift your voice and give glory to God this morning. Give him the praise that is due unto his name for those awesome testimonies. They are the doings of the Lord. Only God can turn stagnation to promotion. Only God can heal that condition of hyperthyroidism and bring a miracle as people obey him. Let's give him the glory that is due unto his name. Let's celebrate him. Don't mutter your words now. Give him thanks. Give qualitative thanks unto God. Give glory and give honor to his name and celebrate his faithfulness. Thank him is worthy of all the praise. Thank him is worthy of all the glory. Thank him is worthy of all the honor. Thank him is worthy of all adoration. Blessed be your holy name. 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 Why not also thank him for the answers to your prayers? All of your intercessions, he has heard you. And he has converted all your appreciations into testimonies. Will you give him the glory due unto him? Celebrate him. Is worthy of all the praise. Is worthy of all the glory. Is worthy of all the honor. Give him thanks expressly this morning. Give him thanks expressly this morning. Give him thanks expressly this morning. Lord, we give you the praise. Now ask him to speak to you this morning. Lord, I've come to hear from you today. Speak to me by your word. Let your word establish my change of story. I've come here for an encounter with you by your word. Speak to me today and establish my change of story. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Lord, we have come this morning to thank you and to give you the praise for all that you have done. Thank you, Lord, for the testimonies we have heard. They are your doings and they are marvelous in our eyes. Thank you, Lord, for the answers you have given to our prayers and for turning our thanksgiving to testimonies. We give you all the praise and the glory. And this morning, our eyes are upon you, asking that you speak to us again. By your word, let every one of us experience a change of story. We give you the praise and glory for it. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated in his presence welcome to 2021 your year of supernatural turn around so shall it be in the name of jesus christ a line of exhortations for this week has been thanksgiving is a must to keep the church growing thanksgiving is a must to keep the church growing we have come to recognize from scriptures that only god can be recognized as the builder of the church. In the book of Matthew 16 and verse 18, he said, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. And that simply means that until God is involved, we cannot experience growth and multiplication in the church. Specifically this morning, we are looking at the fact that our God is the God of multiplication. And that means that behind every experience of multiplication in the church of christ there can be only one source and that is god in jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 19 the bible says out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry and i will multiply them and they shall not be few i will also glorify them and they shall not be small so god makes it clear that when it comes to multiplication it can only come from one source and that is god in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 11, he said, The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are and bless you as he has promised you. So God makes it very clear that when it comes to the growth, to the advancement and the multiplication of the church, it can only be executed by his hand. And that simply means that if we are going to see multiplication, then it is only from one source. And that source is God. Our God is the God of multiplication. Say with me, my God is the God of multiplication. One more time, my God is the God of multiplication. It is important that we recognize the God that we serve. 
so that when we see his act in our midst, we can identify them. One of the reasons why people are not quick to give glory to God is because they are not familiar with the nature of God. Every time God is involved, among other things you see, is the multiplication of his people. If you look at what the scripture tells us in the book of Acts chapter 2, when the day of Pentecost came and the Holy Ghost came down in the midst of the people of God, the Bible says the people and the multitudes were gathered together in verse 6. And we are told that the people began to hear each one giving glory to God in their own language. And they said, these people are drunk. And Peter said, these men are not drunk as you, as you think. He said, but this is that which God spoke through the prophet Joel that in the last days. What he was simply saying was that all you are seeing is God. It's not man. It is God at work, not man at all. And that's why it's important that we recognize his nature. Behind him is multiplication. By verse 41, the Bible says that 3,000 were added to the church. They started with 120. And then by the end of the day, 3,000 had come and, be, and, and were added to the church. And we see all through the scripture, chapter 4, verse 4, we saw another 5,000 added. Chapter 5, verse 14, multitudes were added. Chapter 6, verse 7, the Bible says the word of God increased and the number of disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem. Our God is the God of multiplication. Everywhere you see multiplication, it can only be arrogated to the hand of God. There is no human skill that can multiply the people of God. The building of church of the church of Christ can only take place by the hand of God. This is so important. And that is why every time we see the church being built up, we see the church multiplying. Let us point the glory to the one who is the builder. I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. It is God the builder that is God the multiplier. It is not human effort, not human strategy. It is simply God at work. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. So behind the multiplication of the church is God. More specifically, we discover that he is the sender of the word. And is that word that steers and sustains church growth. So somebody will say, oh no, but it's the word, it's the word. But who gave the word? The Bible says in the book of Psalm 68 and verse 11, it said, God gave the word and great were the company of men that published it. God gave. So the word is not as it were located by man, but given by God. It is given by God. And as a commission, if there is one thing that we can testify of is that we have never had a famine of the word. You have never arrived in church one day and the pastor is looking for what to say. At every point in time, there has always been the reign of the word of God, the good word of God. And who is it that gives the word? It is God. It is God. Somebody say, oh, but, but God's servant has to position himself to hear what God says. That is true. But Isaiah chapter 50 and verse 4 says what? He opened my ear morning by morning. He opened my ear to hear as the learned. So even the hearing of the ear, it is opened by God. And the word that is received, it is released by God. So everything about the word that we see coming our way, day after day, it is always God at work. Can you, can you take this? Understand that even the word that changes your life, that you say, I caught it, it was God that released it. There is what the Bible refers to as utterance. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 1. The Bible tells us there, it said, pray for us. It said that the word of the Lord may have free cause and be glorified even as it is with you. So it is God that causes the word to have free cause to enter your life and then causes the word to glorify or decorate your life. So the release of the word is is of god the receiving of the word is of god the transformative effect of the word is of god so from start to finish everything with the word is god everything with the word is god this is so important and it is that word that we see that gives about the steering and the sustaining of the growth of the church we saw earlier in acts chapter 6 and verse 7 it said there and the word of god increased 
and the number of disciples multiplied in jerusalem greatly the word of god increased so god's word is the one that steers the growth and sustains the growth in acts 13 and verse 44 the bible says that the next sabbath day came almost the whole city to hear the word of the lord the next sabbath day so the word that steers the growth is received by god and when the word is released by god there is an influx of men women boys and girls to receive what god is releasing so you must understand that the word is not the product of just the diligence of men no but the faithfulness of god it is god that gave the word it is god that gave the word yes great may be the company of men publishing it but it is god that gave the word think about it you never come like i said earlier to any service where there is no specific word for that day six days of every week we have the covenant hour of prayer every week we have our midweek service every week we have four sunday four sunday services and each one of them there is a word and location that comes from heaven without fail on a daily basis there is no day in this church monday to sunday where there is no fresh word from heaven there is no day monday covenant hour tuesday covenant hour wednesday covenant hour midweek service thursday covenant hour Fr friday covenant hour saturday covenant hour and wsf meeting sunday four sunday services monday god starts again with a fresh word and he does that 52 weeks every single year there is no day that god said oh i've already tried i've given them enough word no need for a new word today every new day there is a new word and he opened our ears morning by morning to hear the word as the learner he opens our heart to receive the word he opens our life to be transformed by the word and as a result of that he gathers the multitudes over and over again it is god that gives the word it is god that gives the word acts chapter 19 and verse 20 it says so mightily grew the word of the lord and prevailed territories have been conquered by the word of the lord territories have been taken over by the word of the lord this is the doing of god and it must be continuously appreciated because it is that word that gathers them it is that word that sustains them my prayer for each one of us is that the lifestyle of gratitude and thanksgiving that we keep sustaining the release of the word may it become our our portion in the name of jesus christ as we begin to conclude please take note of this that through praise among others god adds to the church daily such as should be saved we have seen that god is the multiplier we have seen that he's the giver of the word and as we keep praising him he keeps ensuring that the church keeps growing from glory to glory acts chapter 2 and verse 47 they were praising god and having favor with all the people and the lord added to the church daily such as should be saved he added to the church daily so you and i as we keep giving glory to god god keeps building his church he keeps decorating his church he keeps advancing his church and the beauty is this god does not build his church without decorating his saints god does not build his church without decorating his saints the building of the church always culminates in the decoration of the people of god the bible makes us to understand very clearly like we saw earlier in the book of jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7 and verse 19 he said there out of them will proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry and i will multiply them they shall not be few i will also do what glorify them as i am multiplying them i will be decorating them that's god's that's god's operation so as he keeps multiplying the church in response to our gratitude and our thanksgiving he keeps glorifying us decorating us changing our stories advancing us that will be somebody's experience here and that is why we have been told over and over and again that in the growth of the church is the glory of the saints in the growth of the church 
is the glory of the saints as god multiplies god always glorifies therefore get said as god continues to multiply his church your glory shall be on the increase you believe me say louder amen you will never know a better yesterday every day shall be an improvement on the last every week an improvement on the last every month an improvement of the last every year an improvement on the last and what a joy we are now in our promised land which is our season of unusual occurrences that means what we have seen in the past is the wilderness welcome to your season of distinctive testimonies the kind of testimonies that will make you a living wonder for men to behold i see it becoming your portion rise your feet with me lift your hand to heaven and give glory to god lord you are the multiplier thank you lord you are the giver of the word thank you give him thanks give him praise from the depth of your heart give him thanks and give him praise from the depth of your heart give thanks unto god and give praise to his name from the depth of your heart you are the builder you are the multiplier we say thank you you are the builder you are the multiplier we have come to say thank you we have come to glorify you we have come to honor you we have come to give praise to you we have come to give glory to your name we have come to celebrate your faithfulness are you thanking god thank him lord we have come to say that you are the builder every soul added your hand brought every soul that was added to us it is your hand that brought no man can come except the father which is in heaven draw him you are the multiplier that is able to multiply even a thousand times so many more than we are what we have seen is your hand you have taken us from the days of little beginnings and you have brought us to this season of unusual happenings this season of unusual occurrences this season of distinctive testimonies we have come with a voice of gratitude and thanksgiving to say that we are grateful are you thanking god this morning give him the glory that is due unto his name give him the honor that is due unto his name give him the adoration that is due unto his name our father we have come to say thank you we have come to glorify you we have come to honor you we give you praise and glory and honor and adoration blessed be your holy name in jesus precious name we have prayed as we have given thanks to him our glory shall be on the increase i said our glory shall be on the increase will you go before god right now and make your declaration concerning this day because what you declare god is sure to deliver what you declare god is sure to deliver speak to the day right now speak to the day right now speak to the day right now do so in faith do so in faith do so with confidence do so in faith and do so with confidence right now speak to the day this day is declared blessed a day of testimonies a day of visitations in jesus precious name we have given thanks every one of your declarations today shall be turned to testimonies it will be a day of good news for you favor from heaven will keep speaking on your behalf in the name of jesus christ so shall it be in jesus name don't forget we have our midweek service this evening we're waiting upon the lord and gathered together this evening at 6 p.m across all of our zones it will be a glorious time in god's presence in the name of the lord jesus christ let's share the goodness of the lord together surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever amen peace welcome to 2021 your year of supernatural turn around then expect turn around to become your new identity from henceforth amen and amen congratulate somebody as you go and be blessed as you do